four of these you guys are going to do. So if I was going to ask you guys to do this, x minus 3, do you guys see how this could be a possibility of a cube number minus another cube number? Yes? So we just got to determine, is x cubed a cube number? Yes. Is 64 a cube number? I, do I have those cube numbers written up there still? Yes, I do. Right? So therefore, what we want to figure out is we want, if we want to know, all right, what is a cubed then equal to? And what is b cubed equal to? Well, a cubed is equal to x cubed. b cubed is equal to 64. It's the difference of the cubes, right? So we don't need to include the, the negative symbol. So I want to figure out what a is. So if I have a cubed to solve for a, I have to take the what? Cubed root. So what cube root is saying, what number multiplied by itself three times? What number multiplied by itself three times gives you x cubed? x. So a is equal to x. Then you say, what number multiplied by itself three times gives you 64? And guys, if you're having trouble with this, just work your way up the ladder. Let's try 2. 2 times 2 times 2. Does that give you 64? No, it gives you 8, right? Then do 3 times 3 times 3. Does that give you 64? No, it gives you 27. OK, let's do 4. 4 times 4 times 4. Does that give you 64? Yes. yes. So you can say, in this case, b is equal to 4. Now, to solve my problem, all I do is replace a with x and b with 4. And that's it. That's all I'm going to ask you guys to do for half of your homework problems. So therefore, you're going to have x minus 4 is equal to x squared plus x times 4 plus 4 squared. Then just go ahead and simplify. So this is x minus 4. What the heck? It's just a product times x squared plus 4x plus 16. And that's all I'd want you guys to do right now is just to factor using the difference of two squares. Okay? Just do that for right now.